Okay, a car's brakes slow it at 9.5, right? It stops within 47.3 meters. How fast was it going to start with? So let's see. Displacement, initial velocity, final velocity, acceleration, time. Right? Let's see. It slows it at 9.5. Okay, so I think if it slows it, that that's a minus sign, and that's our acceleration. So that's the tricky thing here, right? The slowing makes, makes that a minus sign. So negative 9.5. Okay, 47.3 meters, that's our displacement. Uh, it stops, that must be our final velocity. Final velocity is zero. And now we have three things, right? And we want to find the U. So we want to use a formula that doesn't require T, and this is the guy. That's the one. Okay, so let's see. 0 squared equals u squared plus 2 times negative 9.5 times 47.3. Okay, and then the car, if you, if, you, if you think about it, right, this car is, is it's moving this way with some velocity, right, and it stops in 47.3 meters. This 47.3 meters, is, it actually moves forward, even though it's accelerating backwards to stop, right? The, the displacement is still forward. Okay, so let's see. Let's solve this. I guess we can say... Uh, I guess what we can say is that u squared is equal to... And then we can get rid of the minus. Right? And now, now it's, it's a, you know... It's a, not an imaginary number, right? Okay, so let's go square root of 2 times 9.5 times 47.3. End parentheses. And I get uh, 29.978 meters per second. I guess with two sig figs, we have to round it to there, and that's why it's 30 with a decimal point to say that we really mean the zero, right?